Hello and welcome to Big Orbit's unboxing video of the new Force of Will set, Vingolf Valkyria Chronicles. My name is James and I will be doing the unboxing today of this set. Now if you don't know, Valkyria Chronicles is a series of video games. I've only played the first one, so and I hadn't even completed it. So I'm just warning you, there are a few spoilers to it. Uh, not very many in there, sort of. You can take them however you will. It's not as open as it would be in something like Vajshvat. But yes, if you don't know about Vingolf, they are set. They got set content, and but they're usually really good for their for how much they cost. Also, uh, bonus cards. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is actually. So it would be interesting. Um, Oh god, what am I doing to this? this is, I, actually, no, I think I do know what this is. You get special rares? Super rares or something? Special versions of the other cards in the set? Ah, there they are. Okay, so... I'll just quickly go through these. We get Isara Gunter. Uh, resonator, one cost, blue... Sorry, uh, water. 200 to when this unit and When this card enters the field, look at the top four cards of your main deck. You may reveal a card named Welkin Gunter from among them and put it into your hands. Put the rest to the bottom of your main deck. Okay, so I'll quickly move this here. We also get Kurt Irving, a fire resonator, 1000-1000, but 5 cost. And he has swiftness and first strike. When, whenever a resonator that was dealt damage by this card is put into the graveyard, this de uh, card deals 500 damage to your opponent. That is very nice. Next we get Flak Jacket, a addition, and prevent all damage that would be dealt to your J Resonator. Pretty useful. Foldio Landazart, a water resonator. This card gains plus 300 plus 300 as long as you control a regalia, which is very likely. Ocean Flower, choose one recover target resonator or rest target resonator. Ma Maris Marion? Marion, sorry. <laughs> Don't know how I got that wrong. Marion Sigbar? Sigban? When you play an addition, draw a card. Gooserg? Gooserg. Um, he's just a vanilla. Dahav? When this card enters your field, put target resonator from graveyard into your hand. Alias's Alias's Lance, I think that's Alias. Uh, Alias's Lance, added J resonator gains plus one hundred plus hundred one hundred for each recovered magic stone you control. Welvar Glen, pay two light, rest and recover target resonator. So they're all pretty cool. So I think this is the difference that you get in the super rares. They have this. Um, big version of the the character. I think normally you'd only get the small version, but we're about to see anyway. They might just be foil instead, but I'll, we'll be able to check when we go through these. So first of all, I will go through the light deck, because light is my favorite attribute in this. Um, once I get these out. So it's very nice packaging, but unfortunately I have to uh, ruin it a little bit by just getting these things out. And just for if you're a beginner, I know that some beginners do start on the Vingolfs, because they are very useful. You get two playmats, which is really cool, so you can start with a friend as well, because you do essentially get five decks in this. You also get a how to play. With, oh. So yeah, it uh, just tells you about the different cards, how to win the game, uh, where everything goes, what order things happen in, which is always very useful for a beginner. And I believe this is just a more in-depth, yeah, this is a more in-depth version of a how to play, so it'll tell you all the little questions that have been asked before. All sorts of things like that. So all good. Just okay. So, so yeah, you have five decks, one of each color, which is very nice for them to do. It's like I said before, it's 
great. It's worth a lot, and it you, it's only about I don't know thirty pounds for the actual decks uh, for the set. Sorry. So, firstly, going through the light deck. Just need to open this up. Is there an easy way? There is an easy way of doing it. Okay. So I won't go through all of them very much, just sort of, I'll skip through some of the less important ones. But this is your ruler, so we've got Alicia Gunter. When this card enters your field, recover all squad 7 resonators you control. Squad resonators you control gain plus 200 plus 200. So very, very light kind of thing that they do. And her other one, Alicia Meltier. Judgment 7, you may pay one less to play this ability for each squad 7 resonator you control. So she can be free, but it's uh, it's going to take a lot to do that. Then we get Clement Clementia For Forster. When this card enters your field, search your main deck for an addition, reveal it, to your p uh, reveal it and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your main deck. E.D. Nelson. As long as you control another squad seven, this card gains zero and zero attack, gains plus zero attack and plus five hundred defense. When squad seven you control is destroyed, rest this card. Ocean Flower. Choose one recover target resonator or or a rest target resonator. We got that in the special pack. First aid. You gain two hundred life for each magic stone you control. Very good for late game, but it is a four cost, so it's going to use quite a lot up. Uh, flank jacket, we also got that. Homer Piron. When this card, oh sorry, it's probably Peron rather. When this card enters your field, you gain 500 life. Uh, Irene Ellett. When this card enters your field, reveal the top card of your main deck. If it's squad 7, put it into your hand. That's pretty good for a 1 drop. Jan Walker. When this card enters your field, destroy a tank. That is a uh, very situational. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that card, but because it's only going to really be useful in this set unless they start bringing tanks into the next one, into the next main set, which could be interesting. Lynn, uh, she's just a vanilla, no skill. Marina Wolfstan, uh, when you can rest her to rest target resonator. Martha Lip Lipoen, Liponen. She is also just a vanilla. Susie Evans. When this card enters your field, look at the top three cards of your main deck or Magic Stone deck and put them back in, in any order. That's very good. She's only a one drop, 600, so she makes a nice wall, but no, no attack. I really like that. Um, if you're using a very mixed Magic Stone deck, then it's perfect for you. And even if you're not, you can sort out the top of your deck. That, I really like that card. Symbol of Peace. Up to two target resonators cannot attack this turn. Oh, we get this guy again. Welvar Glen. Uh, we get, ooh, first um, regalia of this set. Ragnite. You can rest it to produce light, fire, water, grass, oh, sorry, uh, wind or darkness. You can also banish this card to produce any of those as well. And you can pay two white, repeat two light even, rest it, and banish this card, recover your J ruler. Then Magic Stone of Gusting Skies, uh, produce light or wind. Magic Stone of Heat Ray, produce light or fire. And just these Magic Stones to produce just light. And then you get uh, exactly the same amount again. So, ooh, you, that's really good. You get two of each of these then in the deck and you get eight normal magic stones which are all gonna help you a lot. I don't know why I put them here. Let's just put all the light stuff there. So that one card, that's Susie Evans, you get two of her. I would really recommend using her because she's a great card. Even if you're not using the rest of the cards in this deck, I think she'd make she'd find her place in many, many light decks. So now we have the opposite of light and darkness. And let's get this out. Let's 
So, oh, I remember this girl. Silvaria Bless, Bleh. Uh, not sure how you're going to say that. I'm not sure what language it's from, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, so, J Ruler, when this card enters the field, up to two target resonators gain minus 300, minus 300 for each dry stern you control. Then, her ruler side. Pay six for judgment. You may pay three less to play this ability if you control Maximilian. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, Audrey Gassenal. I'm sorry, I'm not used to some of these. She's not from the game I played, so. And I, it's been a long time since I played those games. So this card control this card gains plus two hundred plus two hundred as long as you control another Galleon army. Oh, okay, so darkness are all the Galleons. I remember those guys. Baldrin Kassen Kassenal Gassenal, sorry, that's a G. It's fun, it's really weird. I, I'm not sure how I feel about it still. When this card is put into the graveyard from your field, your opponent loses four hundred life. That's pretty sweet considering we've got a lot of cards that bring things from the grave back into the hand. Berthold Gregor, when this card attacks, target resonator gains minus 400, minus 400 until the end of turn. So it's a pretty interesting skill. The amount of attack and defense compared to the cost is a little bit upsetting, but you can basically just get rid of all their little annoying weenies like Percival and stuff by doing that. Dahav, we got him in the special pack. Dirk Gassenal. Uh, he's just a vanilla. Gilbert Gassenal. Our other Galleon armies you control gain plus 200, plus 200. Seems like a very light thing to do. Uh, d so, Hammer of the Valky Valkyra. Destroy target J Resonator. Ugh, these kind of cards are awful. I, <laughs> I hate these things. Lydia Ag Agtha. When this card enters your field, rest. Oh wait! When this card enters your field, rest it if you don't control another Calamity Raven. Calamity Raven being the uh, the race. Ah, this is Maximilian. When this card enters your field, destroy target resonator your opponent controls. And whenever a resonator is put into the graveyard from your opponent's field, you gain 400 life. Pretty costly, but pretty cool ability and nice little stats you got there. Radi Radi Jaeger. When this card enters the field, the target resonator your opponent controls gains minus 200, minus 200 until the end of the turn. Great for getting rid of those little one, one drops. Target J resonator gains minus 500, minus 500 until the end of the turn. Oh, sorry, Ragnite Gas. Should have probably gone through that. Schemes of the Empire. Look at, target, look at target opponent's hand and choose a card. They discard a card. Oh, discard that card. So, kind of like Scorn of Dark Alice, but... A little better, but a little bit more costly. Selvaria's Lance. Added J Resonator gains plus 400, plus 400, and whenever this card deals damage, you gain that much life. Zig. As long as you control Dachau, this card gains plus 400 attack. Imperial Tank. Your opponent pays one more to pay judgment abilities, and you can rest this card your J Ruler gains plus 200 plus 200 till the end of turn. Banish a Resonator. Your J Ruler gains plus 500 plus 500 until the end of turn. So, Magic Stone of Heaven's Rift produce light or darkness. And Magic Stone of Scorched Bales produce darkness or fire. Ooh, that's a pretty interesting stone. I've never seen them do a stone like that. Good for all the edgy kids out there. Uh, so, that uh, was the Diamond deck. Pretty good cards. I think, I, I want to say Light's better, but I could just be biased. And also because of, I've forgotten her name, Emily Evans. Emily? No, it wasn't. Something Evans, wasn't it? Susie Evans, that's it. Okay, on to Wind now. Oh, this is... Aliase? Alias? Uh, I don't know. She's got flying, and whenever this card attacks, recover all magic stones you control. And a judgment is pay five. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else to that. Okay. So, 
We get Alexis Hilden, he is a uh, spinel. Alias's Lance, we got that in the uh, special one. Annie Set Nelson, when this card enters your field, draw a card. Even Hardins, you may pay one less to play this card for each student resonator you control. That's some powerful stats there, but very costly. Bulletproof Barrier, prevent the next damage that we be dealt to the target resonator this turn. Cosette Kohlhaath, other resonators you control gain plus 400 plus 400. Yet yeah, again, seeming very light. Why didn't I get any of this kind of stuff? Anyway, Destruction Assault, destroy target resonator. Oh, sorry, Dis discard target addition or regalia. That's very nice for just a one drop. As well. As I'm sure that will be used by a lot of people. Juliana Everhart. You may pay one wind. This card gains plus 200 plus 200 to the end of turn. Lavina Lane. Rest her. Recover target regalia. Magari. Rest her. Produced two wind. That's pretty nice. Mar Marion Siegbar. Siegbar. Yeah. Yeah, we went through her in the special pack. Power of Unity. Target Resonator gains plus 600 plus 600 till the end of the turn. If you control four or more Resonators, it also gains whenever this card deals damage to a Resonator, it deals that much damage to your opponent. So that's pretty good for a nice instant. Two costs, it's not too heavy. Very nice. Uh, Rene Randall. Cards named Migari you control cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponent controls. So that was the lady who uh, who uh, gave you extra will. So that would be very nice to have. Zeri. When this card enters your field, put the top card of your Magic Stone deck into your Magic Stone area if you control less Magic Stones than your opponent. This is sort of... I don't know, this only really works if you're going... Uh, the turn before your opponent, or your opponent has some kind of ramp. I mean, the turn after your opponent, of course. So, yeah, uh, it can work in some times. Sometimes. Class G's tank. You may pay one and rest it, and you gain 200 life. You may pay two and rest it. To target resonator, be targeted, uh, cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponent controls until the end of turn. Pay three and rest it to draw a card, or pay four and rest it to Rest target J resonator. And onto the stones, we have magic stones of black silence. Can produce wind or darkness. <coughs> Excuse me. Magic stone of deep wood produces wind or water. And then we just get the normal magic stones as well as one of all the other cards. Put the ruler on there. So yeah, I'm only really familiar with one third of these characters, and even then I can't remember it too well. I did enjoy the game, but I can't remember why I stopped. Uh, I just can't remember. I got to the bit with the princess lady, Cordelia, or whatever her name is. But after that, I just sort of, yeah, don't know. Anyway, Riella Marcellus. Marcellus. As long as you control Kurt Irving, this card gains swiftness. When this card enters your field, it deals 1,000 damage to target resonator, very similar to Sylvia, and her ruler side. You may pay 9 for judgment, you may pay 1 less for e to play this ability for each nameless resonator you control. Nameless resonator? Um, I haven't studied overly much on this set, but I'm not sure what it means by nameless. Oh, it's the race. Okay, never mind. That should have been obvious, but you know me. Alphonse Avclair. Uh, it's just a vanilla. Amy Apple. This card cannot be attacked. What? Oh, that's pretty good. For a two cost with 500 attack, that's pretty nice to not be able to be attacked. Bombardment. Pay to will to deal 600 damage to target player or resonator. That is fierce. I mean, it's not... You could say it's not as good as Thunder, but they need a, some kind of new version of Thunder, I guess. Because Thunder was pretty crazy. So, Caressi... Ca Caress... Caressa? Caressi? Caressa... Content... Constant. 
Uh, search your main deck for a regalia with total cost one or more. Reveal it to your, <laughs> reveal it and pull it into your hand. Then shuffle your main deck. That costs uh, fire, one void and rest. Pretty good for a little one drop. Clarissa Kalikan, Kalikan, uh, rest her target resonator against swiftness until the end of turn. I really like that one too. These one drops are really good. Uh, I really love one drops. That's part of the reason why I use light cards because they have a lot of good one drops but yeah that's that's pretty sweet just get out something big and then suddenly give it swiftness courageous stand target resonate against plus to 800 attack that will also help with clarissa frederica lips when this card enters the field gain control of target recovered resonator your opponent controls until the end of turn. It gains swiftness until the end of turn. Very nice, but those stats and that cost is still there. Yeah, it's I'm not sure how I feel. So Gersurg, we got him in the special pack. Imka. As long as you control Kurt Irving, this card gains plus three hundred plus three hundred. And as long as your opponent controls a J Ruler, this card gains swiftness and plus five hundred plus five hundred. Whoa, okay. So for a two cost, you potentially get out a 1300-1300 with swiftness. That's, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty nice. Ah, here's the man himself, Kurt Irving. So he's a five cost. So that will uh, slow you down, bringing out Imka at uh, full power. But he has swiftness and first strike, and when a resonator that was dealt damage by this card is put into the graveyard, this card deals 500 damage to your opponent, so Kurt Irving, very good card. Uh, costly, but good. Especially seeing as he's got first strike, that will really help him. Large Explosion, this card deals 800 damage to each player and resonator. Wow, okay. <laughs> so if you've got your perfect form, if your opponent has a perfect formation, and you're, you can take a bit of a hit, just bring this out and he's done. You beat him, or her. Layla Perrin, uh, you can rest her to tar give target resonator plus 400 to the end of turn, plus 400 attack that is, uh, and pay 2 fire and rest her. This card deals damage equal to the attack of target resonator. Margit Ravelli, when this card attacks, resonators you control gain plus 300 plus 300 until the end of turn. Riella's Lance, added J resonator gets plus 1000 attack. That's pretty good. <laughs> I quite like that. Nameless Tank. Rest this unit. Oh, rest this card. This card deals 100 damage to target Resonator. And rest this card. If your J Ruler would be dealt damage this turn, it deals that much. Oh, if your J Ruler would that deal damage this turn, it would deal that much, but 200 plus instead. <clears throat> and Magic Stone of Blasting Winds counts as Wind and Fire. Magic Stone of Hearth score so counts as fire and water. And that's the rest of this for this little deck. Lastly, we have the water. So, I know there's been a lot of really good cards so far. I think the fire one was very good. Um, actually, probably my favourite at this at the moment. But yeah, fire and life have always done well together in the past, so they'd be nice to put, be put together. So this is made so... For, for beginners and for people who are still quite um, been playing the game for a long time, but you can if you if you're new you can pick these up. You can experiment by putting the decks together because you get five of them, and you could easily combine them together, especially with these special stones that you get. So, Alicia Melchior, uh, when this card enters the field, target resonator. Return target resonator to owner's hand. When this card enters the field, you may add an addition J resonator from your hand to this card for free. So you don't have to like pay its cost. Then Alicia Marchio, you may she costs seven. And you may pay. F oh, she's the same as the other one. You may pay one less to play this card for each squad seven resonator you control. Okay. Alicia's Lance, added J Resonator, gains plus 400, plus 400. As long as, you, as, long as it's Alicia Melchior, it gains flying as well. 
Bridget Rosie Stark. Whenever this card blocks or is blocked, this card gains minus 300, minus 300 until the end of turn. Cordelia G. Rangris, or it might be G or G, I'm not sure. So pay two water, pay one void, and rest this. Discard a card, return target resonated to its owner's hand. It's got a bulky body at least, and it's only a one cost. So it could come in handy. It's a very costly ability though. Eleanor Varot. When this card enters the field, you may put a squad seven card with total cost of three or less from your hand onto the field. And Foldio, we got him in the special pack. Isara, we got her in the special pack. Kreis, oh, I'm really bad with these kind of names. Uh, Chiani, I don't know. Please, if you know it, feel free to say it in the comments below, because I have no idea. Anyway, when this card enters your field, draw a card. Lance Potter, uh, sorry, Lance? Largo Potter. I think I was just looking at his weapon and guessing. When this card attacks, it gains plus 100 plus 100 for each squad 7 resonator you control until the end of turn. That's very nice. Mm, uh, Moritz von Borg. Cards named Cordelia G. Landgris. You control cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponent controls. If damage would be dealt to Cordelia, you can a uh, Cordelia you control. Its damage is dealt to this card instead, which has one thousand defense. So that's pretty good. Momentary, momentary respite. respite. Can't talk now. Rest up to two target resonators your opponent controls. They don't recover during the controller's next recovery phase. Sniping from the blind spot. Return target rested resonator to its owner's hand. The carefree three. Draw three cards. Welkin Gunther. Gunther. When this card enters your field, return target resonator to its owner's hand if you control less target resonate less resonators than your opponent. Saka. When this card enters your field, search your main deck for a card named Edelweiss. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your main deck. And Edelweiss. You may pay two less to play judgment abilities and banish this card. Squad seven you control. Squad seven you control gain for 400 400 until the end of turn. You may pay this ability only if you control a J ruler. And Magic Stone of Dark Depths, Darkness and Water. And Magic Stone of Light Vapors, Light and Water. And there's the rest of the cards. So, all in all, it's a very good set, and you're guaranteed, by the way, this, uh, this special pack of shiny versions. So, and they'll always be different. So you'll you'll get a you'll definitely get a shiny pack, but you won't always get the same ones in the pack. You can get any of the resonators, I believe. Oh, and also any of really anything, I think. Maybe not magic stones, I don't know about that. But you get spells and additions as well, so that's pretty good. So, remember that anything you see here is available to buy and sell on bigorbitcards.co.uk. If you have any questions about the set or our shop or the cards in specific or whatever, feel free to ask in the comments section below. And I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.